Hi, this is Andy Brown from The Foundry with another Modo Quick Clip. And in this video, I want to talk about assembly aliases. Now, assemblies have been around in Modo for a long time. It's just a way of taking a rig or a collection of items and collapsing them down into a single item, which you can then save off as a preset, share with somebody else, or reuse it in another scene. So they're very useful, but the problem with them is when you load them back into a scene, all the elements of the assembly are visible within the scene. So if I come to the item list here, expand this you can see all those different elements are still there even though I've collapsed it down into a sink what looks like a single item now what an assembly alias does is it collapses an assembly down into what's called a first class item inside of Modo so Modo will treat it like any other item within the system so first, first of all I'll just show you what I've done with this assembly so if I just double click to go in you can see it's quite complex, there's quite a lot going on in there, but I've set up all of my input channels for the assembly. And because this assembly is creating geometry, I've added a single merge mesh node, which is taking all the geometry that the rig is creating and giving me a single kind of output mesh, essentially. So in this particular case, that's really important. So if I just go up one. Okay, so to create the assembly alias, I just right click and collapse to item and then I need to choose what type of item I want it to be. Is it going to be a channel modifier, a mesh operation or a selection operation? Well because this is a piece of procedural modeling essentially I want it to appear um, as a mesh op in the system. So I'll select mesh operation and then I need to ch choose the source item or the item within which um, the geometry is going to appear. So I'm going to select that merge mesh node that I just showed you earlier and I'll hit OK. And you can see it collapses it down and turns it into what looks like a regular item inside of the schematic. So what I can then do is select that, go to File, and Save Assembly Preset. So I'm in a new scene now, and I want to load that assembly alias back in. Now because I saved it as a mesh operation, I need to load it the same way as I would any other mesh operation. So I'm in the Mesh Ops tab, I'm going to click Add Operator, navigate to where I saved it, I called it Dial, so I'm just going to double click to load it in, and you can see it loads in as a regular mesh operations layer associated with the default item in the scene. And importantly, if I go to the items list, you can see that that is the only item in the scene, apart from the camera and the light. All those other items are now hidden from view. So it's a lot cleaner. Also, if I come down to properties, you can see all of those channels that I exposed in the original assembly are available to me. But importantly, because that's now a regular mesh operations layer or regular mesh op, I can continue adding other mesh ops on top of it to continue modeling procedurally if I need to. So that's assembly aliases in a nutshell. Um, really clean way of creating and sharing content.